Okay, uh, today we will talk about uh, how to use a mobile application uh, from HMI to control uh, Yoda server drive. And this one can also use to uh, Yoda POC and Yoda BSD. So you can see the architecture we show here. Uh, we use the HMI and uh, connect the Yoda server drive as time B3 to uh, Mobus uh, serial and the interface is IS485, uh, but you can see uh, for Delta H3 or B3, actually, we don't have the RJ45, but we use RJ445 uh, instead. But it's actually uh, based on IS485, so you can see the wiring, we use a two line plus minus uh, differential signal. Okay, and this here we connect to the uh, HMI uh, serial port to come through. Then here uh, we do some uh, mobile uh, setting in the uh, server drive. And uh, here we use our station number one uh, protocol uh, 9600 as example. And this one we are set in the Parameter uh, address, uh, ID1 means uh, address 1. And just transmission speed, uh, we set uh, 1, that means uh, 9600. And uh, communication protocol here, that means uh, 1 means uh, 7 in 1. So you can find more detail here. For X, 1 means uh, 9600, and uh, protocol 7 in 1 asking. Then one more thing we will uh, introduce here is how to keep the double from life uh, longer. Uh, so uh, this one we will uh, implement by the HMI marker as you can see here. Uh, this one is um, a lantern uh, per meter. That means uh, every time when you uh, power and power on the track, all these parameters will become zero. So uh, the purpose of this parameter is to keep the to avoid the uh, data write to double from all the time. So this one we will set the value to find. You can find this one the mobile address is a uh, uh, two uh two uh, thirty c. Okay, so we can write the uh, amount in uh, this value. Uh, so we, we can uh, keep this value through the HMI initial marker and this one is the address so we just assign the uh, value 5 to avoid uh, data on retentive uh, uh, value right to retentive uh, register and then uh, we need to do the HMI communication setting so here uh, we use our uh, Serial port come to as mentioned earlier, and here we select a delta and series. We can select a delta controller as key or a delta controller as U. It's both available here. Uh, regarding the interface, we already mentioned uh, for delta as star uh, H3 B3. Uh, the hardware we have only as 45, so we, here we select as 45. And if you still remember, we mentioned the station address ID is one. So this one we are related to here. And then the speed and protocol. So we will set a 7 E1 and then 9600. Okay. okay, and then we'll come to our mobile address of so Delta Drive. So here you will see uh, this is a mobile address of our Delta server and this one is for the uh, AC motor drive is our BSD. So here we give you some uh, example for server motor here uh, is P00 so you can see the mobile address will occupy two. Okay, that be, uh, the reason is uh, because some parameter will occupy uh, 22 bit. Uh, mostly, uh, most of our uh, 
images, uh, the data size is 16, 16 bit. Okay, but you can see for the VST, here we just occupy one. So let's find the difference. So here we just give you some example of the mobile address. And as you see, like uh, this one, P6024. The mobile address, because it occupied two uh, consecutive uh, address, so you will be uh, 604 and 605. MP610. Uh, uh, because uh, this one, if we multiply by two, that means 20 in uh, hexadecimal. So this one will be uh, 14 to uh, uh, 15. And But here, uh, we just convert it from 10 to 8 to hexadecimal. So the uh, example we will show later is. Uh, we will use a sub DI to control server on our server org and job over reverse and also show the limit function. And the drive we use uh, is Asta P3 L. This one uh, is building uh, nine input and six output. Okay, so this is the function of our sub DI uh, control switch. And this one is the um, uh, digital input uh, control. So I give a simple uh, description here. So uh, this one, uh, P36, uh, this is design how many DI you want to use. So if you give the value one, that means you can control only one uh, sub DI. But if you give a uh, three, that means you can control DI one, DI two, means uh, zero and bit one. And this one is the value you want to control in DI. So we can write the output like this. This one, if you still remember, uh, we use this one to avoid uh, double it from. Then uh, this one is we uh, want to uh, control uh, at input sub DI. Okay, so let's come here. The model we use is a uh, DOP 107 WB. Okay, then here you can select either ASCII or RTU. Okay, but as we, for example, we select ASCII, so here we select ASCII. Then the interface size is for 85. Uh, protocol is a 7 even 1. And station address is one. Okay. By the way, uh, because later we will enable uh, the remote function, so here we define the IP address of who is a China as usual. Okay, we define the which my IP address is uh, one dot fifteen. Okay, then we do some basic setting here. Okay, or remote or enable BNC function. Okay, then here we show you some example how to monitor the data. So, for example, we will monitor. Uh, Server firmware address. So here we put zero, and we want to monitor the uh, server motor game. So here we need to have that. And if you don't remember why this one, so let's go back here. one is a position loop can observe drive so we use a 200 okay then uh, let's see uh, uh, so we want to monitor the alarm status so alarm status is uh, zero so we put zero okay I know you don't no address, so we'll introduce later. This one, and here we will 
use for initial markers we mentioned. So come to the uh, initial mark and select uh, data transfer. We select the north. So, so we select a uh, constant. And here we will write to the RP two thirty. Okay, I know you won't cannot remember the address, so let's go back and check here. Okay, so P two thirty is uh mobile address is two uh, two thirty C. Then uh, we will use the soft DI to control, so we add one more data transfer. And here we select our constant. As in the example, we will show you uh, control at a uh, digit. So this one, we will write to this C. Okay. And if you still don't remember, okay, let's check again. to control uh, server status and here we select uh, and here and the one we select would be a uh, four zero three dot zero okay then uh, we can change the status as we mentioned we control at uh, the di so here we use Then, uh, okay, let's see one more uh, the value, uh, numeric, uh, numeric display. So here you can see uh, if we select inverter, then uh, we can, uh, so if you uh, want to monitor and uh, or control uh, the task uh, inverter, then you can select this one and give the mobile address as we mentioned in the previous page. And you can see also we can use this one to control the temperature controller POC and uh, even some uh, standard uh, module. And then we download the program to optimize. Uh, sorry, uh, I forgot this one I did not define so we create it and download okay uh, download let's go to the server uh, oh, parameter this one is the ASCAR server uh, version 6 and uh, as I mentioned here is uh, the one we use to uh, check the current alarm of the server okay so you can see this one on the circuit now Parameter of pin in zero one. So that is how we define. Okay, this one is a zero one. Okay. Then we will use the uh, BNC to connect to server. Uh, sorry, HMI. And if you ever seen the my related uh, video then you will know the that's what is one to add okay so let me show you both uh, HMI and server okay so here we use uh, scope okay we select the VR status and later you can check the bit of uh, this DI then uh, we will monitor
going to go on the speed okay, so it's wrong and we do the ENC control okay so as you see now we are to the server one and we do the job forward then job a reverse here is for the image from the digital input status so we can see this one uh, map to uh, digital input one we do the soft DI uh, control this one do the job of forward then job a reverse and this one is along with set and uh, reverse forward emergency start and then we go back to check the status uh, of our uh, p0 and p uh, p00 and p200 okay so we find the parameter edit if you can find this one is a firmware version but uh, you will see the uh, value is not consistent because here we just select a four I mean a, a four digit but this one is five digits so let's modify the program again uh, and again uh, here uh, I forgot this one is for uh, display only so if we want to check the status I mean along status we should use a P4 so let's modify here again this one we change to 400 but this one we might use a double word and make sure So there's a use of VLC link again. That's why it's one two four five six seven. Okay, so let's see. You can see this one is a uh, current alarm, is a uh, last alarm, is for emergency stuff. And let's uh, check P200 uh, this, uh, value is uh, 230 okay. and P1 uh, P00 101139 okay. check so, uh, Okay, now this one is for the limit, so you can see this one change to 15, and this one is uh, reverse limit of 14, and I can say stop. Okay, so that's all for today's uh, product introduction. Thank you.